I'm Mark Gilanov, Chair of the Department of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. At Cleveland Clinic, over the years, we have performed more than 20,000 mitral valve repairs. And in the next few minutes, what I'm going to do is to show you the five most common surgical techniques we use to repair mitral valves that are affected by prolapse. Prolapse is also called degenerative mitral valve disease. But regardless of the term we use, there are five ways that we can repair your valve. And if you're going to have a valve repair, you may be interested to know, what are the surgeons gonna do? How are they gonna fix my valve? Most commonly, people who have mitral valve prolapse have few to no symptoms. Like this patient, a young woman was found to have a murmur, no symptoms at all. She plays tennis and even wins her age group in 5K races. But she's told that she has a leaking mitral valve caused by prolapse and that she needs heart surgery. And this is what her transesophageal echo would look like. You can see on the right side, there is something that's flapping, and that is the prolapsing leaflet of the valve, the part that's not held down. And when we look at this with color on the echo, that color, that mosaic, that's the actual leak that needs to be fixed. This is a big leak in the mitral valve, and even though she feels well, if she doesn't get it fixed, she's going to get heart failure. So the big picture with someone like this, with the young person with mitral valve prolapse, is very clear. We should be able to repair nearly 100% of these valves, and we can here at Cleveland Clinic, and this is a very, very low risk operation. In fact, the risk here at the Cleveland Clinic is below one in a thousand. When it comes to the choice between valve repair at the left and valve replacement, which is a pig valve on the right, valve repair is better because, as this study from Cleveland Clinic shows, if you get a valve repair, you're on the blue survival curve. And if you get a replacement, you're on the red survival curve, meaning that if you get a valve repair, you live longer. And in fact, if you get a valve repair, your survival is very similar to that of anyone who never had heart surgery. This compares survival in patients who had a valve repair in blue to patients from the US Census Bureau matched for age and sex. You can see they're about the same meaning a successful valve repair restores life expectancy, which is amazing. So how do we do it? We've got five techniques, triangular resection, sliding repair, artificial cords, commissuroplasty, which means closing part of the valve, and anguloplasty. These are the five techniques that here at Cleveland Clinic, we have reduced to practice to enable us to repair 99% of valves. And I'm gonna show you some artist's renditions and also some actual robotic surgical video. First, posterior leaflet prolapse. The most common operation for this, this means the valve usually has a floppy or weak part at about six o'clock on the clock face. The most common way to fix this little segment is to cut it out like a piece of pie. So here you see the mitral valve and the dashed lines indicate the part that's broken and that is a scalpel to the right, and we're gonna cut along the dashed line to remove that piece, then sew it together, and then we put this band or ring around it, which is made of cloth, and this is like a washer. We call it an annuloplasty, and it brings the valve back to normal size. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like in real life. This is robotic footage, and this is a scissors being controlled by me here at Cleveland Clinic at a console, and I'm actually cutting out this triangular shaped piece of the valve. This is about the six o'clock position of the mitral valve. And here you see that triangular piece being removed. And then just as in the diagram, we sew this together. So this is a suture made out of polypropylene, which is a plastic. And we continue with another suture, running it down to close the defect that was created by removing that piece. And then we tie this and we will put a ring around it. And that is a triangular resection. Now, if a lot of the valve has prolapse, meaning there are multiple areas that don't work, we can't cut it all out. We've got to find another way to fix it. And here at Cleveland Clinic, we make new cords out of Gore-Tex, which is very strong. It's like fishing line. 
Each part of the valve is a little bit like a parachute. And if you think of a parachute, the parachute canopy is like the valve leaflet. And let's say someone's floating down on a parachute and one of the struts breaks, one of those parachute struts or cords breaks, then the canopy, which is the valve, flails in the breeze. And we can repair that by making a new strut out of Gore-Tex. So here you see again an artist's rendition of a mitral valve, and you see a suture being held by the robot arms. This is a Gore-Tex suture, which we pass through the leaflet, and then we pass it through these muscles inside the heart, which are called papillary muscles. And now we have fixed the parachute, we fixed the valve. And I'll show you what that looks like in real life with the robot. Here's a big area of prolapse, and this is the actual Gore-Tex suture and we pass it through the leaflet, and then this is a muscle inside the heart where the cords normally attach. That's a little white pledget made out of felt that buttresses the suture to keep it durable. We go back through that muscle, and now we've secured this cord to the muscle, and we're going to weave it through that piece of the valve tissue or leaflet. And the trick here is to adjust it to the right length. We want to get the length that was normal for your normal cord before it broke. And this takes certainly a bit of practice, but here you see it being adjusted and we make sure and then we tie it and that's an artificial cord. And usually we'll make more than one. So this is just a second one going in. Now, if somebody has posterior leaflet prolapse, meaning the back of the valve is leaking, and they have too much leaflet tissue, there's a risk of a complication called SAM, which stands for systolic anterior motion. And basically what that means is the mitral valve gets in the way of the aortic valve, a different valve. So here's how we fix that. This is again a mitral valve and the dashed line indicated by the Cleveland Clinic artist shows where we're going to cut. And we're gonna remove that part in the middle, that's at about six o'clock. So we cut all that out and then we sew this back to the heart. These sutures that you see placed are going to mount the annuloplasty, the ring around the valve or the washer. But after doing that, now we sew that leaflet back to the heart and the way we sew it back to the heart, we make it smaller or shorter. And then we finish it with that ring or annuloplasty. So here's again, actual robotic footage from the Cleveland Clinic where we do robotic surgery every day. And I'm cutting out a large piece of the valve that's broken. This is the part that's got the ruptured cords. And you can see very good visualization with the robot. And now this is the piece I'm going to sew back to the heart. So first I have to cut it away from the heart and then I'm going to slide it over or advance it to fill that gap that I created by removing a piece. So here's where I'm going to attach it. This will enable me to fill that gap. And then I'm going to make sure that these two pieces line up and that I make them short enough or small enough. And this is the suture that lines them up. That then is the sliding repair. Now a more complicated problem is anterior prolapse, where the first or anterior part of the valve is leaking. This is harder for surgeons to repair, in part because most surgeons don't see much of this, but fortunately, doing 1,200 mitral valve operations per year here at Cleveland Clinic, we see this quite often. And the way to fix this is, again, with artificial cords made of Gore-Tex. So similar to the posterior leaflet, we take this Gore-Tex suture, sew it through the valve, then through the palpary muscle, and you see these little white strands, that's the actual Gore-Tex being like the new struts of a parachute, the new cords of the valve. And here you see, just as with the posterior leaflet, this Gore-Tex suture going through the leaflet, then we put it inside the heart to the muscle where the cords normally attach. We attach this pledget, which is a buttress. Once again, it improves durability. And we found here with our extensive experience, this is an important component of the operation, affixing it very securely to that muscle in the heart so that it's going to stay there for the rest of the person's life. And that life will be a long one because again, mitral valve repair restores life expectancy. 
And finally, we weave this through the anterior leaflet and tie it to an appropriate length. Finally, the easiest repair to do. If the valve leaks at a corner, which is called a commissure, just close that corner. So here's what this looks like. At the top, you see the valve with ruptured cords. To the bottom, a suture. And then we finish it with a ring. And with a robotic view, again, our preferred way to do the operation on the mitral valve, we are now closing part of the anterior leaflet at the top of the screen to the posterior leaflet at the bottom of the screen. This suture sets it up, and then another suture completes the closure. And that's a commissuroplasty. Finally, every repair includes this annuloplasty or washer around the valve. We always repair both the annulus, which is the lining of the valve where the valve attaches to the heart, and the leaflets and cords. And the annuloplasty or ring around the valve can be a partial band as to the left, complete ring to the right. We've got both in many different sizes. They both work perfectly well. Finally then, the five techniques are these. And here at Cleveland Clinic, with tens of thousands of procedures on the mitral valve, we have reduced to practice application of these techniques to fix your valve. Mitral valve repair is a specialty within cardiac surgery. If you have a leaking mitral valve, you want your valve repaired because if your valve is repaired, you're going to have a normal life and a normal life expectancy. At Cleveland Clinic, we do more mitral valve repairs than any other institution in the entire world, and we would be thrilled to fix your valve and give you a wonderful and long life.